What is up, everybody? It's me again. It's JT Danger Slim. About to do my 2016 WWE Extreme Rules predictions. Starting with the first match, being the pre show match, being Dolph Ziggler against Baron Corbin. The rematch from Payback's pre show match, which Ziggler won. I'm going to go with Corbin again. I, If this is the new era, why are you having him lose to somebody from. I hate to say this, the old era. This is the new era. I know the old era, this new era thing is bullshit because it's not. But you got to show up the young stars. I mean, they're showing off big cast like he's, like they're showing off Apollo Crews, big cast. Show off Corbin. He did He did not win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal for nothing. Show him off. So I'm taking Corbin. Second match, I'm going to, uh, with the United States title on the line. Rusev with Lana, yum. Versus the United States champion, Kalisto. Now, again, I did pick Ryback to destroy him last pay-per-view. Boy, was I stupid to pick him. <laughs> never that never happened again. So, I gonna I like Rusev now than he was, like, before with that whole League of Nations bullshit. I didn't give a shit about that. I'm happy that they have Lon he has Lana now with him, which is just yum to, uh, to guys out there. So, um, and... And with Kalisto, I mean, Kalisto's just there. I mean, no offense to the U.S. title, no offense to Kalisto. He's a great wrestler. He's a great athlete. But, I mean, the U.S. title is just boring now. No offense to the title. And I, and I love the United States title, but it's boring. Do we need something new, fresh? I mean, Kalisto's been champion. He's been champion since the Rumble. So, he'll have a little bit more of a title reign. So, I'm going to stick with Kalisto to retain. No surprise, I'll take Kalisto to retain. The next match, which, which which they announced on Raw tonight, Dean Ambrose against Y2J in the first ever TNA slash first ever Asylum match, which any TNA fan who watches Raw saw that, and they, again, they must have thought TNA, like freaking total nonstop action, because they, it looks the same as what they did at Lockdown. The, what do you call it, the, uh, the TNA pay-per-view that was every match in a steel cage until the last match, which is the lockdown. Giant cage with weapons on top, which is what exactly what that cage looks like. I mean, as soon as I saw it on Raw tonight, it was like, T like, really? And they said they don't take stuff from TNA? Like, oh, okay. I mean, it just it just made me laugh because of how, like, Wow, like they're gonna use that as a, a stipula they're gonna use that as a gimmick in Extreme Rules in Asylum match with a giant cage with a bunch of weapons up there. I mean that's kind of <laughs> TNA esque. I wonder if Dixie saw that and is thinking to myself more, they're just stealing my ideas, they're stealing everything I did. Um other than that, I don't wanna digress because it was hilarious to me as a also a TNA fan from the just two thousand two to two thousand nine era. Seeing that was just like, okay, they're doing a TNA gimmick now, okay. I'm going to just go with Ambrose, because it feels like his match. He's crazy, he's a lunatic fringe, it makes sense. And Jericho, he's he's like a couple matches away from being done and heading back on the road with Fosse. So I'm going to go with Dean Ambrose. Next match, I'm going to go with the Fatal 4-Way for the Intercontinental title. The Miz with Maurice, also yum. Cesaro. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Now, honestly, for me, I am going to take The Miz again because I've been on a roll with The Miz picking them. But I would not be surprised Cesaro takes it because he seems like he's ready. No offense to Owens, but Owens is destined for more. And if you know what that means, if you know what that means, you know what I'm talking about. And Sami Zayn is also destined, like, out of those three. Miz, Cesaro, Zayn are the three best options because Owens, he's destined for something better, maybe in the next pay-per-view, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take the Miz, and I'll say he'll pin Sami Zayn to retain. So I'm taking the Miz to win. The next match being the Tag Team Championships, the Vaude Villains, Aiden English and Simon Gotch versus the W. W. Ye World Tag Team Championship Champions, The New Day, 
two out of the three of them. Either Kofi, I would say it's going to be either, it's going to be Big E and Kofi. And such a good tag team. I have, you can hear me say it, I love the New Day. And I'm going to stick with the New Day to win this match because it kind of just feels like they're not going to lose until, well, I don't know, August. Uh, like I'm, another pay-per-view, like I keep predicting something's going to happen big at SummerSlam this year. So I'm going to stick with the New Day. The New Day will beat the Vaude Villains and keep that streak of winning titles since SummerSlam of last year going. And now we get to the WWE Women's Championship. A submission match. Now, if you know, if you know, if you've watched WWE as long as I have, submission match were always good with Benoit, Angle, amazing matches. If you have not seen those, if you have not seen Ultimate Submission, a Backlash 01 with Benoit and Angle, you need to watch it because it is a wrestling clinic. And I will say this match could be up there for the women's division. Pitting... Natalia versus Charlotte without Ric Flair. And if Ric Flair comes to ringside, Charlotte will be stripped of the title and given to Natalia. Now, honestly, I am going to say we won't see more. We won't see submissions. That, we won't see. Um, we won't see the usual sharpshooter and figure eight till later in the match. We will see more submissions. I would say, and I'm going to take my prediction here, I'm going to say 15 different submissions in that match alone. That's not the sharpshooter, and that's not the figure eight. We're going to see at least 15. And I know a lot of people are going to say, Charlotte, okay, she's got submissions, she's got the figure eight. But then when you look at Natalia and being in from the Hart family, they're going to know submissions off the yin yang, like more than one, which kind of gives her the advantage. But again, I am going to stick with Charlotte. Charlotte will win this match and retain her title because I know a lot of people don't like her, but like that's what a heel does. I mean, that's what a heel is. Somebody you don't like, but she is a fantastic wrestler. She can do it on her own. She doesn't need flair. Like that's the one thing. She can do it with flair, but she doesn't pause. She can do it with flair. She does it with flair, but she doesn't need flair. In her corner because she's she's done it in NXT without him, so it makes sense. Now going to the main event for the WWE World Heavyweight Title, the cha- the challenger, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles versus the WWE World Champion Roman Reigns. Now again. The match at Payback was amazing. Like, back and forth, back and forth. Such a good match with Reigns, of course, winning, as usual. Now, what makes you think it's going gonna, it's gonna to change? What makes you think this prediction is going to be the, it's going to be the, it's going to be, oh, AJ's going to win? Come on, just tell me. Like, really. Like, come on. Roman Reigns is going to win this match. Bar none, straight to the point. Because it's, like... He's not the good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's just the guy. I know a lot of you are going to hate that. And I don't even like Roman Reigns. Like, just the way I say his name. Like, Roman Reigns. Like, just to boredom on my face. And he'd get booed out of the arena every week of the day. And I have to say, he's going to get booed. He's going to get booed Sunday. So, I am going to take Roman Reigns. And it is an Extreme Rules match. Which makes, like, it still doesn't change the fact that AJ's not winning this match. Unfortunately. Like, he can do anything. He can bring out the tables. He can bring out the kendo sticks. He can bring out this, the chairs. He can bring out everything. But it's still not going to stop Roman Reigns from retaining the title. I mean, there are, like, I may, like, there's a couple possibilities that could happen. Like, oh, maybe Doc and Doc and Carl screw AJ and have AJ, uh, have Reigns beat him. Maybe. And have a, maybe a new leader. Roman Reigns is a heel. Maybe. Um, and or maybe uh, same same scenario, but maybe Finn Balor comes in and maybe that starts the Balor Club. Or I've heard like crazy notions of maybe John Cena comes back and he becomes the leader of the Balor Club, which is preposterous. But hey, it's the WWE. You never know. So again, I am gonna stick with my pick of Roman Reigns. Unfortunately. 
to retain the WWE World title. So I hope you like my predictions. Comment below what you think and tell me your predictions. Let's have a conversation about it. And I, um, it's a late night, so I wanted to do this. So hope you have a great evening and I'll see you soon. Peace.